right, so the new character Freya is one of those characters that has a Pierce card. And listen, Pierce isn't um, amazing these days, but we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm trying my best here to make that Pierce card look good because for the most part, as I've used her, I've seen that what, her, what works best for her is that single target. The single target on the uh, Ragnarok team with Brynhildr and the N, you're le you're landing so many crits because her crit chance is super high on that team, and she hits very hard. But let's try to make the Pierce work. So Lilia, obviously, she buffs Pierce. I'm using Brynhildr because the way this passive works, right, is for each debuff on enemy, she gets Pierce, um, and Brynhildr debuffs plus. For Ragnarok characters in the field, she gets attack related stats. Ooh. Let's do this. Double Pierce card. Hope for, hope for the best. I'm not gonna do a level chill. I wanna do. Ooh. 4 19. And she kills everyone? Okay. Um. Wrap up the video. Success. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was with two Pierce cards, which was very lucky. Um, let's see that single target. Let's see if we can make that single target work. Oh no, he has a level 3. Um, hmm. I'm gonna combine the single target. Missed the crit. No! See, the thing is... No, when you're using her with, you know, Brynhildr and Dn, Dn gives crit chance as well. And she's getting 7% crit chance from her own passive. No. Don't die. I don't think that kills her. Okay. Oh, we can get, we get just the ultimate. Okay, okay, okay. Oof. Do I heal? No, nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take off a stack. Ooh! Get to the ultimate. Where does it cut? Ah, uh, it cuts before in your close-up. I'm sure a lot of you are sad about the... Wait, the... Oh, the, the thing looks so good. Look at that. On the field. It's the, um... Abyss. Yeah, because, you know, the, the first Abyss we've ever gotten was... Festival King. And it just looked so... You know, it looked like... Semen on the ground. Uh, and then... Rimuru looks like his attack, and this one is like that's is like a holy circle, like her ultimate looks really good. I think I, this is the first time I actually ulted her in PvP. Okay, so far what we've known is oh, yikes! Oh, we have a cleanse potentially. Oh, double pierce! Ah, uh, I've been blessed for this video. Um, I'm gonna do this and praise. That this actually kills Meliodas. No! Uh, hit hard. I should have, should have expected. Ah, uh, 400k. It's like, okay. 400k is not a bad number, per se. It's just that when the whole team is buffing one character, right? The whole team relies on one character, and that one character isn't just one-shotting. <laughs> you see the problem here? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that becomes a problem. That's on me, though. I should have expected a dodge to come out of that individual. Okay. No double. All right. Four forty-four. See, the thing is, right? That AOE is pretty good. All things considered, the AOE is pretty good. It's just the single target looks so much better when you're using the 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 proper Ragnarok team, right? If I had the N instead of Lilia, that single target would be doing two two twenty two fifty k, which. I think is better than having an AoE that's hitting slightly harder. Yeah, 
Yeah, 204 with 141 crit chance. Uh, let's do her AoE again. It's like, again, the numbers are good from the AoE. The numbers are good. But she missed the crit right there, which she wouldn't have missed if I was using the N. That's the only problem. It's just, ah, uh, she, she, gets, she gets so much out of using the full Ragnarok team because they are, you know, more coherent. But... If you guys want to see her in other teams as well, let me know. The only other team I've been thinking of using her on is Unknown. Because obviously she's an Unknown character. And Unknown has been getting, you know, Nanashi. And I can use Nanashi, Akidna, and Ron. And she would be having, like, super high stats, right? She wouldn't get any of the attack-related stats from, you know, the Ragnarok characters. But it is what it is. But she would be looking pretty good. So there's that. I'm, I'm probably gonna do that still. Oh no, Tarmiel only called Merlin. It's gonna take a while. Ooh, Demon Team. Okay. Let's see how hard we can hit on this. We're gonna be focusing on the Meliodas again. Because he's the real threat. Yeah, Brynhildr, you know. HP defense. She's not a Pierce character either. Oh, we missed almost every crit. We only hit the one on Asterosa. But we killed Meliodas, so... It's the only problem... Oh, you're missing so much crit chance if you're not using the end. That's a big problem. With trying to run her with Max Pierce, because I think there's... This is Max Pierce. There is... Nothing else I could use that would improve her Pierce. It's like Lilia... Obviously is giving her all... And um, Brynhildr, being a Ragnar character, gives her, you know, some passive. You know what's funny, though? She counts for her own passive. Um, can we even win this? I don't think so. Um, Freya counts for her own passive. She gives herself 7% attack-related stats by existing. Which is pretty good. Come on, man. Missed every crit. Every crit. I know we can't lower his crit resistance, right? We're lowering tech. It says right here we're lowering his defense rate stats, but obviously we're not. Um, but you missed every crit? Okay. Fair enough. You're not getting... Uh, she's not getting the, um, the crit chance that... Freya gives herself. How much crit chance do you have? 101. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to miss everything. Askenor has 95% crit resistance, so technically I had 5% crit chance. Hmm. Can we kill the Meliodas? I mean, it's the same thing. If we kill the Meliodas, well, there's no point. Like, Askenor comes in and then I lose. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunate. Pierce team is just not it, because, um, yeah, I missed the crit. These days, it's, Pierce is just an irrelevant stat, except for Meliodas, because he gives himself 50% attack related stats. Poor Lilia. This might be the retiring video for Lilia. Like, anything that Lilia can provide, it's just not good enough. We're at an age that Pierce cards don't need just Pierce. They need attack-related stats to function, right? Can we crit this time? If I attack first with the single target? Please? No, because I don't have the end. Ooh, I am definitely uh, going to try the new Relic King with now for me at some point. Nice, three blue characters for my red unit. Lovely. Yeah, unfortunately, um, Lilia just doesn't provide enough. When we're looking at any character, the only relevant Pierce character in the game is Trader Meliodas. And it's because he gets so much attack-related stats. He's not just getting... Pierce, right? He gets 50% attack related stats. So he's critting, so his crit damage is on to play. 
He, uh, Pierce obviously is helping as well, but there's so much more. That you need, you need the other stuff. I think we die here. Mm, okay. Let's heal. We got the ult. Uh, we can take off the ultimate gauge next turn. Only chance I can win is I get another Freya Pierce card, I think. I right, please don't cleanse the uh, deb the defense lower. That'd be great. Okay, don't kill Freya. Oh no, he's gonna kill her. It's a level two. No! This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs>